Koreaboo, someone who is obsessed with Korean culture so much they denounce their own culture and call themselves Korean. They may also think they will someday marry their favorite idol or may use small parts of Korean in their sentences without caring about learning the language. A disgrace to Asians. Probably will never see them again because while you are reading this, they have immigrated to Seoul. <laughs> Oh my- If you fit into any of these descriptions, boy do I have a show for you. Exo Katie came out on Netflix a while ago and honestly, I wasn't planning on watching it. I wasn't the biggest fan of To All The Boys. I thought the first one was cute, but when Laura Jean didn't pick John Ambrose, there was no way in hell I was gonna keep on watching. Like, how do you- how do you not pick Jordan Fisher? Hello? So watching a spin-off show about her sister wasn't on my agenda. But then New York literally turned into a scene from Blade Runner, so I was stuck inside for two days with nothing to do. Exo Kitty was the first thing I saw on Netflix. Plus, I saw the trailer and saw that it took place in Korea. And guess what? I am Korean, so I decided to give it a try. And um yeah, I didn't like it, and I'm gonna talk about why. Disclaimer as usual, these are just my opinions. Feel free to comment yours, just remember to be respectful. So I'm gonna start this review by talking about what I didn't like, because there is a lot. This was literally a Wattpad story. It had all the worst tropes. The characters meet by bumping into each other. They end up in situations that would have never happened in real life. They're all obsessed with love and having the perfect relationship. Every guy in the school just happens to be conventionally attractive. It was so cringy. And yeah, maybe I'm not exactly in the target demographic for this type of show, but I still enjoy a good teen show and movie. I think the reason why this show in particular made me cringe so hard is because it's just so out of touch. Like I got so much secondhand embarrassment watching it. The dialogue was pretty awful and some of the performances definitely didn't help. The show was just so unrealistic in the worst way possible. Like according to Exo Kitty, the only catalyst to fall in love with someone is to have a sex dream about them. That's it. There is not a single thing in this show that is realistic, except for the academic struggles that one character has. The plot changes a lot, and I'm not talking about a plot twist here and there. No, the entire focus of the show completely shifts multiple times, and that's just bad writing. If you have that many changes, it makes it hard for the audience to care. It's also really annoying and weird, and I guess this is one of those shows where you don't have to do too much thinking. Like, you could just turn off your brain and watch it for what it is. And if you have that mindset, I understand why some people enjoy this show. But I don't understand why some people call this show good. Because it's really not. And turning off your brain in order to watch a show is probably a sign that the show isn't good. And the main reason why the show isn't good is actually the characters. This is the official spoiler warning because it's really hard to talk about them without spoiling anything. So you have been warned. Yeah, pretty much all the characters suck. And surprisingly, Kitty is the worst of them all. I'm kind of disappointed in how bad her character was in the show. She was definitely a fan favorite in To All The Boys, so seeing her in Exo Kitty was... was sad. A lot of people liked her in To All The Boys because she was kind of like the voice of reason, sort of. She was always quick to call people out and just say whatever she wanted. So imagine my surprise to see her with her head in the clouds and not a drop of loyalty in her blood. I lowkey think that the show just made her into a mini Laura Jean, which is weird. Listen, I get that people grow up, people change, but that is a complete character shift from that girl we knew into all the boys. I think it's completely fine for characters to be flawed. As long as they change by the end, it shows growth and maturity. But Kitty kind of stays the same. Like, she's still the romance addicted, head in the clouds girl we meet in the beginning. I wish her main plot was more focused on her mom. I mean, that's literally the main reason why her dad let her go to Korea. That storyline and ended up taking a back seat so that Kitty could have like 12 love interests. Why? Please explain. That could have been so good. Like, think about it. It could have been an opportunity for Kitty to reconnect with her roots, explore Korea, meet her relatives, and learn more about herself as a half Korean girl. At least learn the damn language. That's also a major thing I didn't like about the show. Like, how the fuck did she make her way through Korea without bothering to learn a single word in Korean? 
Instead, all that potential was thrown away so that Kitty could have sex dreams and fail her classes. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with love. I love a love story. I just wish it was done right. Kitty is a pretty bad friend, and if you put some thought into the show, her obsessions with other people are a little bit creepy and very cringy. I kind of feel bad for him. Like, maybe it's just the way the actor plays him, but he just felt like a little puppy. And he's one of the only characters that actually had depth. Like, he's a really good brother and would do anything to help his family and others. He would even pretend to be Yuri's boyfriend. And honestly, he's like the only character you end up rooting for. So, go Netflix, yay. He deserved better. Yuri. No. No, I'm sorry, no, no. I hated everything about this character. And this may be a hot take, but just because she's hiding her sexuality doesn't mean she can force a guy to do things without his consent. And it also doesn't mean you can treat the people around you like shit. <laughs> also, listen. I don't want to shit on actors. I really don't. I understand that there are different factors that contribute to a bad performance. Sometimes the script is bad, or sometimes you just want the check, or sometimes you're just way too old to be playing a high schooler. But this actor? Oh my goodness. I just like, like give us something. You couldn't have casted someone who cared? Like, listen, I understand acting is hard, okay? I act too. It's a lot more difficult than people think. But oh my god. I also hated, hated when Kitty started having feelings for Yuri. First of all, where did that come from? Like, Kitty, Yuri stole your boyfriend. Exactly what is attractive about that? Like, no wonder Day was so confused. Also, just structure-wise, where the heck did the storyline come from? Like, we've gone from Kitty wanting Day, wanting to find out more about her mom, hating Yuri, finding her half-brother, trying to learn more about Yuri's mom's relationship with her mom, to liking Yuri. <laughs> Girl, you make no sense. I understand the argument that that's just how teenagers are, sexuality is confusing, but this isn't real life. This is TV, and TV needs structure, and Exo Kitty has no structure. Okay, we need to wrap it up. I don't like yelling, so I'm gonna do a lightning round of the characters. He's hot. He's funny. He's 27. I wish he had a bigger role in the story and a bigger arc. I didn't like his arc of just discovering that he wants a real relationship. I think a better character arc would have been becoming less of a pretentious asshole. And the dream he had with Kitty was the cringiest thing I have ever seen. And I've seen the kissing booth, okay? So I've seen some cringy things. I liked him. He seemed like the only one with more than one brain cell and I wish we got more of him. I don't care. Seems like a nice guy and a decent actor, but I don't care because the show didn't give me a reason to care. I liked her and I liked the actress. Wish we got more of her. Just stop. This is the Korea boo, man. Like, <laughs> there's literally one in this show. Oh, I am so sorry. Totally my bad. Are you okay? In some mail. gonna be a hard watch man <laughs> fuck of culture and i can speak korean hana dil set net asa ah yo goop yo yo shmo yo hana yo do yo slut yo net yo say did you say slut no that's my korean for my korean people if you know you know wait what the fuck did you just say yo goop yo 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 shmo okay what just you know you know what you can't tell me what you said no if you're not a real k-pop stand then right did you say anything yeah okay there's some random bullshit hana dil set net okay stop so yeah, Exo Kitty is bad. Honestly, it gives me Emily in Paris vibes. Like most of the characters are delusional, especially the protagonist. The place they're in is poorly represented and it's just an American Wattpad fantasy. Hi, I'm currently editing this video and I forgot to add something, so I'm just gonna say it now. Korea is strict, especially with schooling. And there is no way in hell that they would even let you breathe the same air as a boy. So it just makes no sense how Kitty was able to live with boys for like the whole semester. And there's no way Kitty wouldn't have been expelled early for failing her classes, especially because KISS is supposed to be like an elite academy or whatever. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. That's all I have to say. Bye. But I will say that the one good thing about Exo Kitty 
is that it's entertaining. Yes, the show is bad, but I definitely wasn't bored watching it. Yes, I was fighting for my sanity, but I definitely wasn't falling asleep. Yes, I kind of wanted to die, but I definitely wanted to finish the show first. I think the main reason why most people stayed was for Minho. But the show itself can be enjoyable if you don't give it much thought, which is definitely a bad sign, but whatever. So, am I gonna watch season 2? Yeah. Also, Day and Kitty dated for four years? Kitty can't even commit to one crush in this show. That's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching. Again, these are just my opinions. Let me know what you thought about the show because, oh boy, it was, it was an interesting one. So yeah, subscribe if you want. Have a great day. Bye.